Welcome back to Set Streets and Eats, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Scottsdale, Arizona, just outside of Phoenix tonight, in front of finally an old Taco Bell. So I did a history of Taco Bell that I had found in 90s Taco Bell back in Pennsylvania a month or two ago. Finally, after a lot of searching, I finally found a video of an old Taco Bell here in Arizona that still has the old sign and the old building shape. So we're gonna go in, get a little something to eat, and check out this old Taco Bell. Before we do that though, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna finally get political on this channel. We got an election year coming up, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna endorse the candidate, guys. I know I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna do it. I'm going for Mr. T, the Mr. T party. That's right. Less talking and more mohawking. I know, I know. Everybody says it. Don't get political, but I can't help myself. I'm sick of it. We need more mohawking. That's right. If you guys like 80s shows, like I do, and you want t-shirts with your favorite 80s show characters on them, well, click the link in the description of this video and go to 80stees.com. What are you guys waiting on? Find your favorite 80s shows, 80s movies, video games on a t-shirt. Click it. Do it. Thanks to 80s Tees for supporting my channel. You could support my channel. Click that link, get yourself a t-shirt. And then let's go to Taco Bell from the 80s. Check that old sign out. Oh my God, it's gonna be awesome. Let's go see it. I swear to God, I have not seen this logo in many moons. I cannot believe they still have that sign. That is amazing. They have the outdoor seating. Uh, look, they even have where the bell used to be. How cool is that? And the old logo used to be around there. They still have the old, one of the old logos. It's not the oldest one. That's one of the old ones. And then they have the 90s logo on the trash can. Look at these 90s boots. The old walls. The old menu. New menu. But still, you can imagine the old menu hanging up there like the way it used to. Now they got the new kiosks. Oh man, these are exactly how they used to be. The old limited seating inside. Crazy to see one of these. I'm so glad to actually finally see one. I really wanted to do an actual history or do my original history one. I searched for a long time, but uh, wish I would have found this one sooner, but still cool to see one that still exists, especially with all the old signage. And uh, it was in Arizona the whole time. It's awesome. But just in case, I'll give you a briefer history than I did in the original history, to bring you up to speed, Glen Bell started Taco Bell in 1962. He had owned a few restaurants beforehand, but started in San Bernardino, close to where McDonald's started. <clears throat> and, uh, only had it until the late 70s when Pepsi bought it. And then Pepsi kind of grew it into what it became. But 
these old classic, the classic look, this classic look was Glen Bell's original Taco Bells. And uh, this is an original. You can tell with the small lobby, that's how the originals were built. I mean, they looked a lot just like that. And you can tell this had that bell up there. It even had one of the really old logos right underneath it. And uh, it's definitely got the 80s sign out front. <clears throat> they quit using that logo. <clears throat> I think the last time they used the logo was 1994. That's when they went to the, the common 90s logo. So, this place is old. It's interesting that it, that it, uh, they clearly updated it because I ordered off of a digital kiosk. So they clearly updated it. But they didn't bother updating everything around it. It's pretty crazy. I mean, when is the last time you saw that sign? How nuts is that? Makes me kind of think that this might have been franchise owned. Maybe still is. Way later that maybe it didn't have to fall in line, so, so to speak, like the uh, corporate owned stores possibly. Now I know in the early 2000s, I believe, Yum Brands bought or kind of bought it from Pepsi and they they own KFC and uh, Long John Silver's and all those fast food places so I don't know what their deal is with this restaurant maybe this is owned independently I'm not sure but it is interesting that it somehow skipped updating but I'm glad it did because it doesn't get more retro than this for Taco Bell. The only thing that would have made it better is if they had a 59, 79, and 99 cent menu I could have off I could have ordered off of in there. That would have made it the early, early 90s in there. That would have been perfect. You could eat like a king. At Taco Bell in the early 90s for two bucks. <clears throat> Especially with the Fiesta menu. I really miss the Taco Bells that look like this. These are the ones I grew up going to. These are the ones my friends and I used to hang out at in high school. This building design. These were my favorite ones. This one is open 24 hours. We never had a 24 hour Taco Bell when I was growing up. That would have been amazing. So it's not here in Arizona, but in San Diego, just to show you how original looking this building is, there's a miniature Taco Bell of the original look. Check this out. See, it's not very big at all. It's, well, it is kind of big, but it looks a lot like the one there in Arizona, because that would have been the inside, and then now they've enclosed that area, and then this is the outside seating area, and they've just taken the fountain out. Then that's where the old sign was, and that's how the old sign used to look. How awesome is that? <laughs> it's awesome. And it's just sitting right next to an actual modern day Taco Bell drive through here in San Diego. Isn't that cool? I love that. Delicious, as usual. 
Well, this was just a quick stop by. There's not much of a episode here since I've already done the history of Taco Bell. I'll definitely put a link to that episode right up here. I definitely wish I would have found this place to do the history of Taco Bell here. Um, but that 90s Taco Bell in Pennsylvania was pretty awesome as well. Um, but this is definitely a full-on 80s Taco Bell. Possibly 70s or even older. I'm wondering if the building itself was even older than that and it's just last updated in the 70s. But I think the booths and tables came from the early 90s. But I'm guessing the building was even older because the outdoor seating out here is, is open, which is very reminiscent of the old Taco Bells from the late 60s and early 70s. I don't know, it's really cool. Um, it's very cool being in one of these these really ancient Taco Bells and seeing the old signage. And definitely on brand for this channel, for sure. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this quick stop by and a little jaunt once again down the 80s memory lane. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. And uh, remember, more mohawking, less talking. Vote for Mr. T. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.